Hello everyone. Today we'll see how to in create a website using exam. For that I'll just download the exam software. The exe file is downloaded and it is there in the download folder. Double click and install on your PC. We have to tick all the checkboxes and uh, I'm going to install in the D drive. Now it is installing. Done with the installation. Click on finish. I want to open the control panel to start the server. Exam. Control panel. We can select the language here. So, next. Start the Apache and my SQL. Now the server is uh, started, so I want to check whether it is working. First, I will check the root directory that is uh, in my D drive where I install the exam inside that HP docs. We need that index.php file. So, if it is there, it is going to run it. open the browser and uh, type the local host so it will open my uh, the index.php which is there in that HD doc it will open this window and uh, this window I will use to create the database so I can use uh, this PHP my admin uh, the site what I am going to create is it is uh, first create HTML form, store the data in database, and display the data from the database. So first, uh, I need a database. So first, creating a database, then create a table in that database. So I'll go back to the browser the browser and uh, type the local host yes your php my admin this is using i'm using this for creating a database so create under database create database database name i want to give as uh, db1 that's it create the database is created under that name of the table is the uh, user we want to create a name of a name for the table so the number of column required is only three okay click on go it will create the three columns In the first column i use for id so ID is a integer type and I make this uh, the length of the ID is 10 and uh, this is uh, primary so it is automatically going to increment 
every time when I am feeding the data into the database. The next two variable that is the next two columns is a f name and l name that is first name and last name i am going to use so the name means it is a text type so you have to select the type is text and uh, i need to only maximum 30 characters in each column you can see okay. so now it has created the uh, database that is db1 and uh, table name is user under that we have three columns that is id f name and head name now first i will create the uh, site to display hello world so i'll go to exam in, inside that ht docs i'll create one uh, folder the folder name is test Inside this uh, folder, I'll create the PHP. Index.php. Okay. So echo, hello world. Now, So this PHP file will display hello world and I'm browsing for localhost slash test. Okay. Okay, now I'll proceed with my creating HTML form, HTML form is to take the two input that is uh, first name and last name and uh, the submit button i already typed it i will copy paste to this here the action is submit.php i have not written that submit.php uh, now the two uh, name that is file name and uh, sorry first name and last name the type is text and uh, submit button if i yes we are getting this html uh, file i mean the display like i have to type first name and last name and submit button now I have to uh, write a submit.php to insert data into the database. So this is a submit.php. It will take two data that is uh, first name and last name and uh, copy into the variable x and y. So this x and y variable I will paste into sql uh, that is a user uh, then uh, that is file name and l name x is copied into file first name the y is copied into last name okay Now again, I'll go to the browser and uh, type localhost slash test. Now it will uh, open that HTML form it form and do whatever I'm typing a uh, first, first name and last name. And uh, after clicking on the submit button, it is successfully stored into the database. We can check in the database also okay dp1 uh, my under user we have created one value so it is one first name is xxx last name abc 
I'll type one more name that is uh, ABB and XYZ. Click on submit. Again, we'll check what is it in the database to confirm whether what we are typed is going to the database. Okay, so two values are there and ID is automatically incremented. Now display the database content on the website. So for that, we have to write the submit.php in the change the code in the submit.php after we are uploading the value this is the same code what we are typed for the last program now we have to select this the data and put that into echo so it is going to display this okay it is there inside the while loop depending on number of uh, data it is going to print it so i'm using the style uh, we can change this type okay so this is enough for displaying uh, the content from database now we can check and i'm typing the first name and last name and submit it is not only storing into the database, it is going to display what is there in the database. So same thing is there in our database. So like this, we can create our own website by using a database. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.